Hi there. In today's video, I want to carry on working on some of these sketches that I was collaging together and having a play around with, like I was doing in my previous video. If you haven't seen that one, there'll be a link up here on the card, so you can click on that and you can watch that one first if you haven't seen it. So really what I was doing, that video was all about getting going again after having a bit of a break. I had quite a long break um, towards the end of last year, over sort of December and the beginning of this year in January. Uh, so I didn't really do very much. I was doing other things at the time. So now I'm trying to get back into building my creative momentum. So a really good way to do that is to just go back through some old sketches that I've got lying around and just do something with them, just to get myself moving, start getting the creative juices flowing. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Like I said, the first part of this video uh, I did last week, I was just doing a bit of uh, tearing up and collaging, and I'm really not expecting any thing grand, no great fine art or anything like that. I'm just getting back into it, seeing where it goes and just having a play. So that's what I'm gonna do today as well. I did mention in that first video, I wanted to have a look at this sketch here. Uh, it's one that I did um, as part of my membership group for one of the projects on my membership group. It was just, uh, I was sitting outside by a river and we were talking about getting movement into your painting. So everything in this painting is all about energy and marks and movement, trying to get that kind of flow going, that kind of uh, idea that things aren't static, particularly when you're out in the landscape. You want to make sure that your paintings have some energy and they're not like uh, snapshots or frozen photographic moments because the landscape and painting out in the landscape is a very energetic process that everything's always moving and changing. There's a lot of flow and, you know, over the course of a, a session when you're painting, uh, you know, things are just changing all the time. You want to get some of that into the painting. So that's what that project was all about, getting the idea of movement and flow and energy into your work that you do outside. Uh, so I didn't really do a lot with it afterwards, though. That was the thing. It was the demo in that uh, project was about you know, painting outside and getting energy into it. So I just thought it'd be quite nice to revisit that sketch. Uh, I think there's some quite nice marks in it and just to see what I can make out of it. Again, you know, I'm not trying to make any kind of grand fine art statements, just having a play, see if I can get something interesting, something visually stimulating and uh, yeah, just see where it goes and not take it uh, too far. Just have a little play and uh, see what I get. Just before I get started, just want to remind you that if you are interested in my online membership group, at the moment the first month is free, so you don't have to pay anything to join. And that also entitles you to 15% off my online workshops. Now my next online workshop is coming up in April, so if you're interested in any of that stuff, please do check out the link that's on the screen. Okay, let's get on.
Okay, so that was a nice quick one. As I said, I didn't want to do too much to it. You know, when I'm doing these little collages, I try to keep it fairly minimal. I like to pick a piece which has a good starting point. So that's what I was doing initially, just taking out a piece which I thought had enough going on in it that it kind of represented the whole painting. You know, plenty of movement is what I was looking for. Plenty of interest in the marks and the variety in the tones. So I just chose that piece as a beginning. And then at that point, as with all these little collages that I do, I, I look to see whether I think I can add a piece of collage to improve it. And that's really the only criteria that I have. If I want to get an image which I enjoy, it's not always about going through a, a rigorous, uh, rigid, should I say, uh, process. It's more about um, saying, what will improve this image? Shall I just leave it alone? Does it work on its own? Can adding a little bit of collage improve it? So if the answer is yes, adding collage improves it, then I'll do it. And if the answer is no, I think it's fine the way it is and I'll just leave it. In this case, I like the idea of just adding in this little bit of the bottom here, even though it's quite similar to the piece I had that I've covered up. I quite like these swooshy marks, these big brush marks here. So I've got these uh, white um, energetic marks here were actually reeds at the uh, edge of the river. So that's what they kind of represent, that kind of movement of the reeds. But I like this kind of swooshy mark here. I thought it was quite good and it, um, you know, the overall focus of this was about movement and I think that really helped it. So that helped the, the idea of what I was trying to get across in this little image. So that's that's enough really. I mean the writing that on it is just something that I, I wrote on it. A river, flow, gusty winds, that kind of thing. It's just things that kind of pour out when you're painting, just ideas that kind of come to you. So rather than putting it in a notebook or something to try and remind yourself, you know, I like to just scribble it on the painting because it's actually quite a nice mark. I think sometimes a drawn mark, a written mark can be quite a nice um, mark in itself, quite a nice drawing mark. It, it's not forced, it's about something else. So it's just a nice way of making a mark on the paper which I just find quite interesting. So I was doing, uh, yeah, that's it really. So that was basically all that was about. There was nothing fancy about it. I did the sketch outside, the pieces that I chopped off. You know, sometimes people say to me, oh, you know, you're losing all this stuff from the, all that painting that you did, you're just taking it all away. But you know, when you look at something like this, which is a piece that I took off the side, this is what's left over. I mean, there's some little scribbles here and a bit of paint here, but that's kind of it. You're not losing very much. And this piece here, there's, you know, I took off the bottom. There's, there's nothing on it that's, you know, you're not losing very much, but you know, so I don't think of this as taking things away. I think of it as editing and um, making the image more concise because you're not losing very much by losing that piece. Certainly not losing much here. There's a couple of squiggly marks might have been nice in there somewhere, but you know, I've got similar marks here already, I don't need them. So, you know, you're not losing much by doing this, but I think you gain a lot by making your images more uh, focused, more concise, taking away the things that you don't need and just focusing down on the things that give the impression that you were after. And in this case, it was that energetic river bank, a few uh, reeds at the side, and just the idea of the movement of the water. So that was that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching that. Just another little quick collage there. Uh, yeah, a bit of fun. I think it looks quite nice and good little marks in there. So yeah, I can move on from there. As I said before, if you're interested in my online membership group and my online workshop, do check out the link that's on the screen and I'll see you soon.